Hey everyone, in this video I want to talk about some data visualization guidelines from Edward Tuft, the data visualization pioneer. Remove clutter. Basically he says that above all else we need to show the data. We need to erase everything that you don't need so you're basically are removing clutter uh, and less is more when you're developing data visualization or dashboard. The next one is do not use pie charts, ever. <laughs> um, I actually agree with, with him on this. Uh, basically, they tend to confuse the audience because as humans, we, we aren't that great at telling apart the different sizes of the, I guess, pie slices as we are if we're looking at, let's say, stacked bar chart where we could see if a rectangle um, is bigger than another rectangle. So the bar chart is another alternative to a pie chart and he likes those much better. Uh, if you don't have a lot of data to work with, he says don't use a graphic. You can actually just use a table or even a, a really big number to show the story that you're trying to tell. His view is that you need to communicate complex ideas with clarity, precision, and efficiency. So it has to be clear, it has to be precise, and the audience doesn't have, you know, make sure that the audience isn't spending too much time trying to understand what it is you're trying to tell them. You also must give the audience the greatest number of ideas in the shortest time with the least ink in the smallest space. And by ink, he means uh, going back to that clutter, you know, don't put too much text, that's using ink, charts or icons or pictures are all considered to be ink. So be careful of, you know, what you use and how much of it you use and, and how much space it takes on your um, entire page. Avoid distortion. So be fair with the data and present it without twisting it to fit your agenda. This goes back to, you know, let the data speak. Um, I know there is a quote out there that says, if you torture the data enough, it'll tell you what you want it to tell you. And he's completely against that as we all should be. Basically just follow what the data is telling you. Um, you can use stacked charts to see values over a period of time. You can use horizontal bar charts to see, for example, values over a period of time, primarily if you need um, longer text descriptions, and you can use vertical ones, which have a little space for text. Next one is limiting your color palette. While finding a gray palette is an art unto itself, you need to make sure that the reader can distinguish between the different hues that are used in your graphic. and. There's a kind of rule of thumb out there that you shouldn't use more than five or seven different colors in, in your entire dashboard. So again, less is more. Don't paint the rainbow. And last but not least, induce the viewer to think about the substance rather than the methodology, graphic design, or the technology of the graphic production or anything else. Make sure that they're looking at the data and looking at the substance. 